Uh, we are very proud to say that we've already attracted more than one, $100 million worth of investment uh, in new technology in this park in a span of six months. We are very proud of this fact. And looking at other uh, cities around the world, uh, there are studies that suggest that uh, cities with education institutions around, like universities, like technology parks, performs better in terms of GDP than cities without. So we believe that this project will definitely bring a real uh, economic impact to the Emirates of Sharjah. We believe that this project will bring real economic impact to the economy of the United Arab Emirates. Uh, the Sharjah Research and Technology and Innovation Park is an initiative by the government of Sharjah to uh, spark an innovation ecosystem in the Emirates of Sharjah. So in terms of projects, I think Sharjah has you know, spent a good $1 billion every year on education. This project is an extension to the Sharjah government work on developing itself as a knowledge economy base. Uh, so far, the project uh, basically uh, been allocated $150 million for the first phase, which includes the main building of the project, in addition to the infrastructure for the first phase, which we are due to inaugurate uh, quarter one of next year. Uh, um, by the end of this year, you should see the first uh, 3D house printed in the park. As a matter of fact, this is by end of September. By end of September, you will see a new type of technology for transport and logistics, which is a new type of trains that will be operating here in the park in a pilot uh, mode. Uh, by a few weeks from now, you will see an advanced hydroponics, aquaponics, vertical farming uh, projects happening in the back of, 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 of our, our building here. We are uh, working on some very exciting uh, development and technologies. You will see a lot before the end of this year. The uh, train project or the Skyway project, which happens at the corner of this building, you can go and see it. This is a new uh, type of train, next generation trains, which is, uh, uses less energy and uh, less footprint on ground. It's a hanging train, which uh, comes on different sizes, uh, that we believe that this product hopefully will make it uh, in, a, in a big way into this uh, region. Uh, an example of what we are doing here, we have a company called Merlin in the back of this project, which does exist now, which are they are trying different type of sustainable technologies. Uh, they are trying hydroponics for agriculture and uh, aquaponics. They've uh, uh, developed their own solar uh, energy system. They've developed uh, sustainable housing, which is much cheaper, much easier to implement and more sustainable, which you can go and see. In addition, now we are trying to in, 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 uh, implement and test a wind turbine uh, energy as well.